far-right UK separatist leader Nigel Farage interviewed Donald Trump in a new interview on GBN News. Take a look. Was it a mistake to have had that rally on that day? Well, you know, I didn't have. That was a rally that was there. And if you look, it was a massive rally with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. I think it was the largest crowd I've ever spoken before. And the real, and I, I reverse it, the insurrection took place on November 3rd. That was Election Day. And before and after. That was, to me, the insurrection. And the January 6th was a protest. But if you would have looked at the crowds, the size, nobody wants to talk about that. I believe it was the biggest and most people, I, and I've spoken to very big crowds. I have never spoken in front of a crowd that size. Nobody ever talks sure. about that. And then, unfortunately, some bad things happened. But also, uh, the other side had some very bad things happen. In other insurrection news, according to CNN, the D.C. U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals cast major doubt on former President Trump's arguments that the court should block the release of his presidential documents for Congress's January 6th investigation. Over the course of a three-hour and 40-minute hearing Tuesday, the judges expressed skepticism of Trump's claims as they grappled with the question of what role courts should play in disputes when an incumbent president has declined to assert an executive privilege claim that a former president seeks to assert. Judge Kintanji Brown-Jackson of the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals said, quote, This all boils down to who decides. Who decides when it is in the best interest of the United States to disclose presidential records? Is it the current occupant of the White House or the former? Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe. And join others who like their news raw, too.